Now we're doing the Brazilian. Ooh, okay, yeah. I'm gonna get to the center. <gasps> That's really hard for me to find. Why am I tearing up? Why am I tearing up? Now I'm gonna have to redo my makeup. On that note, why pay for therapy when I can just sit here and cry for 100,000 plus people? I have been so sleepy lately, I don't know what it is. Look at this mooch. Mooch! Come here, mooch. Yay! I captured the wild mooch! Up, up. Up? You love up. This girl's half fish. Hey. Hey. Hi! Do your hair, moochie. Hey. Can mommy wash your face, please? Look, Mooch, look, look at mommy's headband, look. Where are you going, Mooch? Look, look at my headband, Mooch. What are you doing There's here? another one. There's another one, little twin. Good morning for Pops. Good morning, my chunk. Let's go get a sister. Go get her. What's up, you guys? Happy New Year. I am so excited to be partnering with Way for 2024 as well. You guys know I'm obsessed with their hair products and I'm just so excited to be working with them again. If you guys watched my last video, I mentioned that a good hair day literally sets the tone for whatever I'm trying to do. I am definitely someone whose hair over makeup. If my hair looks good, I can conquer the world. This is a new product I'm trying out from Way, and I'm obsessed. It is their new hair gloss. The hair gloss gives you salon worthy hair in five minutes. After I double shampooed, you guys know I love the Way Detox Shampoo. I'm sectioning my hair off in two inch sections and then I'm coating it in that hair gloss from midsection to end. And this is replacing my conditioner, so it just hydrated my hair so much. Not only does hair gloss give you immediate shine straight from the shower, but it also helps treat damage and enhances color vibrancy to get your hair looking and feeling healthier. After I applied that hair gloss, I just went ahead and combed out my hair and then I let that sit for five minutes while I did my body wash, shave, anything like that. I cannot recommend Way enough, especially the detox shampoo. You guys saw that was the first thing I used in my shower routine and it's always my first step. It cleanses product buildup, hard water deposits, dirt, oil, and other impurities. So it's such a great base for my blowout and it's really how I get all that volume and longevity in my hair. Like I literally go like two weeks without washing my hair and I swear it's because of the detox shampoo. I love using the leave-in conditioner as well because it's multitasking, it detangles, hydrates, and fights 
frizz for every hair type. The hair oil is another one of my faves. It is the fast fix for healthy hair. It's nutrient packed, absorbs quickly, and keeps color from fading and protects from any heat damage. Also got the Way fragrance and the scents are incredible, you guys. That's one thing Way knows how to do and that is a fragrance. All their products smell phenomenal. You guys can give your hair a glow up with Way. Go to T-H-E-O-U-A-I.com slash Nazani to get 15% off any product. That's T-H-E-O-U-A-I.com slash Nazani. I'll have that linked for you guys down below. What's up, you guys? It is the next day. I just pulled up to basically my second home at this point. I'm at 7Q Spa. Today we're doing full body laser hair removal, and then I'm also trying out this new facial laser that they have. It's called Fon Fontana. Fontana. I'm going to ask them, um, but this is their newest laser, and the girls at 7Q were telling me, like, this is the Rolls Royce of lasers. Everybody there has been loving it. It's really good for skin tightening and also, like, texture, um, skin vibrancy, and stuff like that, so I'm excited to try it out. With the new year, this is, like, the perfect time to do it because I get a little bit of downtime, so yeah, I'm excited. Let's head in. So the laser is called Photona and I'm doing Photona 4D and they're telling me that it's going to also help with my acne scarring, skin tightening, give me a little glow. Do most people get the numbing? Um, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Lily was telling me it's optional. We did it without, yes. You did yours without? Mm-hmm. Oh my god, did it hurt? No. Oh, not really? Not at all. I'm just a little baby, so like, well, just, just do it. Well, on your intolerance. Oh, we're doing the Brazilian. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm gonna get to the center. <gasps> okay. Okay, one second, right. one second, one second. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm ready. Whoever says this doesn't hurt is lying. Okay. Oh, okay. Legs and armpits don't hurt, but this is a little spicy. <laughs> Okay, oh, I still have these ones. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm gonna give you those. I just cleaned them like this. Yeah. Lord. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is probably the least comfortable part. Okay. Little horse stats. You do let me know if you feel comfortable. Okay. Our followers are probably like not <laughs> just doing some crazy <laughs> every day. <laughs> All right. Sit up in here now. What's up, you guys? I just wanted to sit down and talk with y'all. You guys are loving my 25 things I learned at 25 video, and you guys are like, no, let's do more sit down videos. So I was thinking, okay, even though I might not do like a full sit down video, I can definitely 
just sit down and incorporate talking parts into my vlog. I thought it'd be fun to sit outside today. I just needed some fresh air, but it's kind of cold. I might go back inside, but I do have a little hot cup of tea with me, you know, but I feel like I keep shaking this table. Is the camera moving? I feel like it's moving. But yeah, it's a little chilly today. I mean, for LA it's chilly, but it's definitely not gonna be cold for some of you guys. It's like 50 something degrees, 60 degrees, but whatever. So with this video, I wanted it to kind of be like New Year's themed. So I thought it would be fun to just sit down and talk about my New Year's goals, my New Year's resolutions, and just have a little, you know, chit chat with you guys. Oh, that breeze. A little chilly. So if you guys remember in any of my previous like New Year's themed videos, I've always been someone who said I don't like New Year's resolutions, I don't like New Year's goals, because... I feel like when you place this expectation or something that you want to achieve and then you don't achieve it, it's very discouraging and it almost like brings you back instead of propels you forward. But after some self-reflection, I realized that's a very lack mindset. Like it's not an abundance mindset. That mindset is thinking very small. It's just living in fear. And that is something that I 100% wanted to let go moving on in my life. Was it any of your guys' years? Let me know. I think a lot of the things I wanted to achieve, I kind of already did that in a way. And none of my goals were really like tangible goals, which is why I think it's really important to have goals that have an end goal, if that makes sense. For example, if I wanted to say in 2023, I want to get healthy. How do you measure that? How do you measure that you're healthy? So that's why with this year, I have exact goals. Like I want to lose 20 pounds. So when I lose that 20 pounds, it's like, okay, I achieved that goal. Um, I want to buy a house. Like once you buy that house, okay, you achieved that goal. And it's very encouraging. I don't know. I think it's a lot easier to place like stepping stones and figure out how exactly you're going to get to that goal so it's like not just you know you putting things on your vision board just to manifest it you know like i'm all about manifesting but i'm all about actions toward that goal like you need to tell the universe you need to tell god like you need to show them with action like i want to achieve that goal i think another one of my goals was to spend more time with my kids like more one-on-one -on -one time with them it's a little harder with the twins but i think they're getting to the age now where we can start doing like one-on-one -on -one things but like for Kayvon example, I was like, I want to spend more one-on-one -on -one time with Kayvon. I can easily say that or I can make moves happen. Like Kayvon's about to turn four in March. And the great thing about that age is that he can start doing like organized sports. So every like basketball program academy I found, they start at age four. So basketball is definitely going to be his thing with Mel. But I'm like, I want to put him in dance class. And that can be like our thing. Like once a week, I take him to dance class and then we can go get like chick-fil-a after or something like that and that could just be like a core memory for him i feel like my nose is already getting stuffy from being outside <laughs> if i'm sick after this just know that's why like a core memory of mine when i was about Kayvon's age like i would say like four or five years old i specifically remember my mom would take me to dance class if you guys are from ohio it was in uptown westerville it was called generations um my mom would take me to dance class and then we would get chinese food after like i vividly remember that because there was a chinese restaurant it's not there anymore right across the street so like I would go to dance class and then me and my mom would go get Chinese food and I would get like, I'd always get beef fried rice. I remember specifically because I like choked one time. Like I remember I really choked at that restaurant and like everybody surrounded me. My mom was like hitting my back. Like I remember that. I love just talking y'all. Like I'm just going off on tangents. Um, but yeah, back to the goals. One of my New Year's resolutions is to reduce my stress. And one way I'm able to calculate that is through my aura ring. I feel like I've been talking about my aura ring over and over again. I'm not gonna lie, when I first got it, I was thinking about returning it um because i'm used to the apple watch and with the apple watch you can like really see like all your stats the aura ring is a little different because you have to go on an app but my aura ring shows how stressed i am so the fact that i can actually measure my stress and see how many hours of the day like my body's in a stress mode i can actually find ways to like reduce my stress and actually calculate like if my heart rate is lowering and if i'm actually not as stressed out mood you know instead of just thinking in my head like am i stressed am i not stressed like i need to see like what my body shows whether i'm stressed or not another one of my goals is to lose 20 pounds i've spoken of this on my um instagram and snapchat already but if you didn't see i started this weight loss program at um this one wellness clinic here in glendale california it's called body systems wellness so i met with dr k i'm gonna have a whole vlog on this i recorded the whole process um i'm about nine days deep into the program it's about 63 days total a huge part of the weight loss program is to detoxify the body remove the body of heavy metals and to detox the 
the liver. So with this program, I had to essentially cut out a lot of food groups, which I'm a huge advocate not to do. But because this is so temporary and my number one goal isn't like weight loss per se, and it's more so like a body reset. And after talking with the doctor, it like just made total sense, you know? So with this program, not only am I eating a specific way, but I'm also taking these little medicines. Um, it's not Ozempic. I had some people messaging me like, girl, are you on Ozempic? No, it is not Ozempic. But it's these little drops that I take like three times a day with my food. And um, I'll show you guys all in the video. Every morning and every night also I take these like detox release drops to kind of help flush my body out. And guys, I have lost six pounds so far since January 1st. Today is January 7th. So literally in one week I've lost six pounds and it's just incredible to me so i'm like okay i already lost six pounds in one week my goal is to lose about 20 to 40 pounds on this 40 is a lot i don't think i want to lose 40 but he's like guaranteed you're going to lose at least 20 so it might be 20 30 we'll see we can stop if you feel like you're good where you are um but yeah, i definitely don't want to lose 40 pounds i definitely like being a little thicker if you know what i mean but guys i needed so much more than just weight loss one thing this program really showed me because again i had to cut out some food groups it has showed me that i'm so much more disciplined than i believe i you guys know me i am a foodie i also eat a lot like i'm someone i need to eat a big meal to feel satisfied and yeah, I might eat healthy, but I was just eating a lot. You know, that's why I was at a heavier weight and I couldn't lose the weight because yeah, you can work out every day if you want, but if your food isn't there, like it's not, it's not going to work, you know? So with this program, it's no oil, no carb, no sugar. This is all for like the body cleansing, you know, phase. And I also drink a gallon of water a day. So obviously we all know to drink a lot of water, but this is the first time in my life, like I'm tracking everything. Like y'all, I bought a food scale. Like I've never done that in my life. So I'm really showing myself like, cause I didn't think I could do it. I'm like, what do you mean? I'm not gonna eat any sugar. Like y'all, I haven't had a lick of sugar in a week. That's a lot for me. Like even my coffee creamer, like I'll put it in my matcha, like nothing. And it's really showing me like it's mind over matter so yeah just that alone it's just giving me this new sense of confidence that i didn't have like i am more if i tell myself like you're not going to do something like you're not going to do it and it's a really it's a really sexy feeling like okay i'm on my grown woman like if i say i'm not eating sugar i'm not eating sugar and i love it i'm really proud of myself again i've never done something like this in my life another goal that i wrote down was that i want to handle my life with more grace and I can just be very like I can be a lot sometimes again reflecting on myself I can definitely be a lot sometimes and I don't want to make excuses for myself but sometimes I feel like it is warranted like I really do be going through some bullshit okay I can get very stressed as I mentioned stress is like a big problem in my life I can get very stressed and then I lash out at the people closest to me and I, again I don't want to say it's warranted like they deserve it or you know, I purposely try to do that, but I just think I have a lot on my plate. And I just think as a woman, like, let's just talk about just being a woman in this, in today's society. Let's just be frank for a second. I essentially like, I don't want to say like, I am a rich man, but I mean, that's kind of like my role in my life. I just feel like as a woman, like you don't get that same respect as if like you were a man. You know what I mean? Because a business owning man, okay, his only priority is to make money. But as a woman, it's like, okay, you make money and then you also have to like, make sure you look good. You gotta make sure the kids are good. You gotta make sure like the house is clean. You still gotta have all your womanly roles. So that's where it's hard for me. It's hard to balance like, okay, I am I have this mindset of like, I need to work, 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 but also be like a soft woman, like be in my soft woman era, you know? So that that's really hard for me to find why am i tearing up why am i tearing up why the f am i tearing up now i'm gonna have to redo my makeup but i think any working mom who watches my videos can relate but being a working mom i'm, I'm not downplaying any mother being a mother is hard as it is stay a home mom working mom they all have their child their challenges but i think for those of you who are watching who are working moms like you guys know you guys just know i don't have to explain it like it's so hard to balance both it's like you have to think like a man but you also have to think like a woman too at the same time for example like a working dad if he doesn't show up to things no one bats an eye because they're like oh he's working he's providing for his family 
But if a woman does that and she can't show up to something because she's working or whatever, no one thinks like, oh, she's providing for her family. They think she's not being a present mom. Again, I don't let the comments get to me, but for example, like Mel will do like a, he'll post like a reel. And it'll be like a day of him with the kids. And there'll be comments like, where's Nas? Why isn't Nas in the video? Nas is never around. And I'm just like, do y'all think money just, I just pull it out of my ass? Like, again, I'm so incredibly lucky. I have a man who supports my dreams and doesn't feel small or doesn't feel belittled by my big goals. And he will support me and take care of the kids and all of that. But it just sucks that, and again, Mel has never, ever made me feel bad about it. But it just sucks that from the outside looking in, like someone will just see that and be like, oh, Nas is just not a present mom. It's like, y'all, I'm sitting here trying to make moves and trying to like secure a future for my family. Like not just my immediate family, but my extended family too. Like it's a lot. It's just being a woman in this society is just so unfair. It's so unfair. I'm so annoyed that I cry so annoying i don't even know if i'm going to include that part because again people will just be like what do you mean you work you just sit in front of a camera and do your makeup y'all those comments i also think it's really hard too when you're your own boss and you don't have hours like you're not clocking in and clocking out because literally work is never done like i was up until 5 a.m last night just tossing and turning with anxiety over like due dates what i need to do like people i need to like reach out to people i need to email like it's it comes with its own set of problems you know what i'm saying and i mean you see i have to make disclaimers before i say anything because i don't want to offend people that's another thing with this job it's like you have to make sure you're not saying the wrong thing and literally like opening a can of worms and like ruining your life you know like that's no pressure don't get me wrong you guys at the end of the day i love my life i love my job i have a beautiful family i have beautiful kids but I just want to touch on the fact that it's not all roses and daisies. It's just something I think a lot of us can relate to. Like being a working mom is not easy, like trying to find a balance. I could be happy with what I have now, which I am. I'm not going to say I'm not. I'm very happy with what I have now, but I've just always in my whole life, I've just always wanted more. And I think that that's why I am where I am. I just think, again, life is so short. Like why limit yourself? You know, like why just stick to one thing? But then at the same time, I think of the quote... You, me and my quotes, but I always think of that one quote that the jack of all trades is a master of none. But at the same time, I'm like, I like doing a lot of things, <laughs> you know? Oh, y'all, I'm such a mess. On that note, why pay for therapy when I can just sit here and cry for 100,000 plus people? Um, but no, there's just something about talking to you guys. I really do feel like a sense of peace when I talk to you guys. I mean, obviously there's haters, but I just know like overall the people that I have supporting me, like I'll deal with a hate comment here and there to have the support I have from you guys. Like you guys are so special and I'm just so thankful that I have that type of support because like people can only dream about having that type of support and I love you guys so much. And there's really exciting things coming up. I think that's why I'm a little stressed, but Again, I'm laying the foundation for it to be as seamless as possible, but I have an exciting collab on the way. I can't say it just yet. Um, I wanna start working towards my own brand. Hopefully, I wanna launch that 2025 as my goal. Maybe 2024, but 2025, ultimately, I'm like, I'm gonna make it happen. I got a really interesting business offer, which is something outside of like I even had planned to do, but I think it's gonna be really amazing. Like when I can actually talk about it, it might be like months from now, but when I can actually talk about it, I think you guys are gonna be like, this makes total sense. Like this is perfect for you. But yeah guys, please, again, don't take my tears and think I'm miserable. Like I'm actually super happy. I'm so thankful for my life. But again, there's certain things like you're never gonna be 100%. And again, I think my problem, it's like, it's not even just like me within my own household. I think it's just like a societal problem. It's just so hard for, it's like as a woman like it's really hard to do it all and it's like we want to do it all it's like i want to have it all i want to be a business owner i want to be a mom i want to be a wife i want to i want to still be that girl who can like go out with her friends and have fun and party and then i also want to be like a pilates princess and then i also want to be a shark like literally i want to be like an investor like there's so many things i want to be so little time on that note i think i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here i really hope you guys enjoyed um, let me know down below some of your 2024 goals or just anything exciting coming up in your life. I'd love to hear it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.